Welcome, explorers. Have you ever found yourself stuck in traffic, wishing you could just push a button and lift off into the sky, leaving the congestion far behind? Well, you're not alone. This idea of flying cars has been the stuff of dreams and science fiction for decades. But what if I told you that we're closer to realizing this dream than you might think? Over the past century, engineers and inventors worldwide have experimented with different designs and technologies, working tirelessly to bring the concept of flying cars to life. In this special Eat Explorers episode, we'll delve into the fascinating world of flying cars. We'll explore the historical background of this ambitious idea, the technical challenges involved, and how different companies are striving to overcome them. If you're as excited as we are, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe and press the notification button for more exciting content from Eat Explorers. Let's rewind to the past and begin our journey. As early as the 19th century, people started envisioning a world where vehicles could take to the skies. William Samuel Henson and John Stringfellow patented an aerial steam carriage in 1841. It wasn't until the advent of aviation technology in the early 20th century that the concept of a flying car began to take a real shape. Glenn Curtis, the aviation pioneer, was one of the first to introduce the idea of a commercial flying car with his 1917 autoplane. The Curtis autoplane was a three-winged vehicle, combining elements of an automobile and an airplane. It had a propeller and wings for flight, and wheels for ground transportation. Even Henry Ford, the automobile magnate, toyed with the idea of a flying car. In the 1920s, Ford unveiled the Ford Flivver, a single-seat aircraft that Ford envisioned as the flying equivalent of his Model T. However, safety concerns and a fatal crash during testing led to the project's cancellation. The mid-20th century brought a renewed interest in flying cars, spurred by post-war optimism and technological advancements. Moulton Taylor's Aero Car in the 1950s, for instance, managed to secure a limited certification from the Federal Aviation Act FAA, but it never entered mass production due to lack of market interest. The turn of the 21st century saw a resurgence in the concept of flying cars, fueled by advancements in materials, propulsion technology, and digital control systems. Companies worldwide started exploring the possibility of making this sci-fi fantasy a reality. Today, with several companies on the brink of launching commercially viable flying cars, it feels like we're on the cusp of turning this age-old dream into a reality. The dream of a flying car is incredibly exciting, but it's also incredibly challenging to turn into reality. Let's explore why. There are several factors that make building a flying car a complex task. Firstly, the vehicle must be lightweight enough to achieve flight, yet robust enough to handle road conditions. It needs to be compact for road use but must also have sufficient surface area for wings or rotors to achieve lift. Fuel efficiency is another challenge. Traditional combustion engines are heavy and not very fuel efficient, while electric engines, although lighter and more efficient, still face issues with battery life and charging infrastructure. Another significant challenge is safety. Not only do flying cars need to be safe for the passengers and operators, but they also need to ensure safety for people on the ground. This leads us to perhaps the most complex issue of all, regulation. Navigating the regulatory landscape for a vehicle that operates both on the ground and in the air is no easy task. It involves dealing with road safety regulations, air traffic control, flight certifications, and much more. Despite these challenges, several companies have made significant strides in the last few decades. Technological advancements in materials, propulsion, and digital control systems are propelling us closer to the reality of flying cars. Aleph Automotive's Model A is an excellent example of these technological advancements. The fully electric vehicle, which can fly and travel on roads, recently received U.S. government approval for testing. This shows that we are not only dreaming about flying cars but are in the stages of testing and perfecting them. Innovation in flying cars is a global effort, with several companies around the world developing their unique solutions. First up, let's look at Terrafugia. Owned by the Chinese company Geely, Terrafugia is based in the United States and has developed the Transition, a roadable aircraft that has completed successful test flights. 
It's designed to fold its wings for street legal driving and is expected to enter the market soon. Over in the Netherlands, PALV has developed the Liberty, a gyrocopter-style flying vehicle that's also designed for road use. The Liberty is already on sale, and PALV aims to deliver its first models to customers in 2023. In Slovakia, Aeromobile is working on a luxury flying car that transforms in just three minutes. Their vehicle has been in development since the early 1990s, and the latest version, the Aero Mobile 4.0, was unveiled in 2017. Joby Aviation, another US-based company, is developing an air taxi rather than a flying car. Their aircraft, which recently received airworthiness approval from the FAA, can carry up to five people and has a range of over 150 miles. And let's not forget Aleph Automotive, the company we discussed earlier. Their Model A is a fully electric vehicle that can both fly and travel on roads. It's another step closer to a commercially available flying car. Aleph Automotive, the Californian startup has managed to get a flying car certified for testing by the FAA, making it the first fully electric vehicle that can both fly and travel on roads to receive US government approval. Let's dive deeper into Aleph's vehicle, dubbed the Model A. As you can see, it's not just a plane or a car. It's an innovative blend of both. This vehicle is drivable on public roads and can park like a normal car. The exciting part? It also has vertical takeoff and landing capabilities, making it convenient for city commuting. The Model A, carrying one or two occupants, will have a road range of 200 miles and a flying range of 110 miles. It's a solution that has the potential to greatly reduce commute times and offer an alternative, more efficient means of travel. With the recent FAA's Special Airworthiness Certificate, Aleph Automotive can now further their research and development, moving closer to bringing this futuristic commuting solution to life. It's not just the skies Aleph Automotive is aiming for. They have ambitious plans to sell the vehicle for $300,000 each, projecting the first delivery by the end of 2025. If successful, this could set a strong foundation for the flying car market. It seems the public is already getting on board with this idea. Aleph has taken refundable pre-orders for more than 400 of these vehicles. Their vision of an environmentally friendly and faster commute is clearly resonating with many. Over in the Middle East, the United Arab Emirates is embracing the future of transportation. Dubai, in particular, has been proactive in promoting flying taxis and has collaborated with companies like E-Hang and Volocopter for trial runs. Japan has emerged as a significant player. The government's Roadmap for Air Transportation Revolution demonstrates a clear vision for flying cars and aims to start commercial services by 2023. Companies like SkyDrive and Cartivator are leading the charge with active support from the government. Germany's Volocopter and Lilium are just two examples of companies making great strides in the industry. The European Union Aviation Safety Agency's progressive approach towards flying car regulation is certainly aiding development and testing. And let's not forget China, home to E-Hang, which has been testing passenger drones and aims to develop an air taxi network. The future of flying cars is likely intertwined with advancements in AI and autonomous technologies. Company like Whisk working on Bring World's first autonomous EVTOL. We can foresee fleets of automated air taxis, transforming urban mobility and potentially even connecting remote areas. Services like Uber Air give us a glimpse of what's to come. Aerial ride-sharing, integrated with existing transportation systems, could become commonplace in the not-too-distant future. However, this futuristic vision comes with its own set of challenges. Air traffic control, noise pollution, privacy concerns, and safety issues are just a few aspects that need to be addressed as this industry evolves. As we wrap up this exploration of flying cars, it's clear that what once seemed a wild fantasy is inching closer to becoming a tangible reality. It's a testament to human creativity and ingenuity, and a reminder that the future is full of possibilities. If you haven't done so yet, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay updated on our latest videos. And if you found this video informative and engaging, do give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Let's keep the conversation going. Remember, the future is not set in stone.
we are the ones who shape it with our ideas and actions. So, what future will you create? Until next time, this is Eat Explorers, signing off.